Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. This is David Pendleton and this is going to be the Winter Major Tournament opening round pro division holes number one through four. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad that you found it. I hope you liked the video and you hit that subscribe button. And then secondly, I hope everybody who watches take just a moment to help me out and hit the thumbs up. Let's go to hole number one. Hole number one, nasty wind, but it's okay. Uh, we can handle it. We're going to go with full top two bars of side spin to the right when it comes to this particular hole you can use a high level you know thor's hammer you can use your big topper you can use your extra mile nine like i have here we just really want um top spin right and we want to blast this ball as far up the second fairway as possible now you're going to notice that i put my uh extra mile at the plus eight with half my red ring on the fairway half my red ring in the rough now I do that just in case I hit a little bit of a great right that I should still be okay, but we really need to hit a perfect ball on this hole. You see here, I've got a full ball of curl to the right as well. That's going to be important. And I do hit perfect. Thank goodness I picked up the Eagle on both of my accounts to get off to a good start because we're going to talk about hole number four here in just a couple minutes and what happened to me. All right, so here we're going to go with the Embringer rule. If you don't know about the Embringer rule, you need to check out Jared uh, Jared's channel. He does a great job explaining it. I did take my time on this one here because I needed the drop. So this one I played, for me, I played at 70% slider, 20%. So 20% at 70% slider. But I do hit a perfect ball, and it goes into the hole. So a good start there on hole number one. Hole number two, very close to the hole in one. We're going to go 45% at max. We're going to go about 3.3 top, one and a half bars side spin to the left. This is very similar to the wind angle we've had in a previous tournament. So what we do is we put our white ring up here by the rough line. And you're going to know if you're in the right spot because you're looking for this right here. Take a look at that dark green vertical row. Okay. So look at the row that I'm playing in. Just remember, it's one, two, three. It's the third dark green vertical row from the left-hand side of the pin. Okay. Again, not counting the light green rows, looking at the dark green rows. Once you find that row, you saw where I was aiming at in it, you're gonna be really, really close to where you need to be. And here, you know, this is on the very, very low end of the mile per hour wind scale in pro with a katana. So pretty lucky to get 5.2 mile per hour. So we're not getting pushed that far, you know, to the left of the hole. So I do come right at the pin. I mean, right there, the speed is perfect. Just barely, barely miss that one. Now, if you have higher wind, you need to move your target over a little bit more to the left. Okay, so get get more left-hand side of that dark green vertical row. But hole two is very close to a hole in one. I'm confident some of you are going to pick it up. Hole number three stinks. It's, this is really going to eat some people up. Again, thank goodness I got the eagle on both of my accounts on this one too. I'm going to go with an APOC here. Now, I do have a level, a, a level six APOC. Um, that's not going to matter. Okay. Anybody level, you know, two, three, four, whatever your APOC is, you're going to be able to pull this off because take a look, I'm only going, uh, with five bars of top spin. All right. So I'm leaving two bars of top spin off of the shot, three bars of side spin to the right. I'm not utilizing the power of this club either. You're going to notice here that I make sure, see how I'm at the plus one yard mark. I'm going to keep moving this backwards until it goes to plus zero and then no more yards. All right. I am still pulling this or pushing this at max distance of my club. The most important thing about this shot is going to be hitting perfect and getting your curl right. Take a look at my curl. See, I'm not even using max curls. So I'm not using the benefits of the APOC 6. I'm doing this here just so that everybody can see the shot. Uh, so that you can, you know, do it with your APOC. Yes, I could have got further up. I could have used more topspin, but I wanted to make this relative to everybody watching. 
you do need to bring a powerful wood club for shot number two because it is going to be basically direct headwind. I brought my cataclysm. You can bring your big dog, whatever you would like. I apply my spins. I back up a little bit. I'm still going to pull into overpower, which means I should use a little bit of overpower on the shot. You can see there, pull about, what, one ring or so into OP. I only used about a click of overpower, though, very, very little amount of OP. I didn't want to go too wild with it. I just wanted to make sure that I got onto the green and then I'm putting in for eagle. Obviously, wasn't looking to dial in an albatross or anything from that distance. I'm going to show you two shots on hole number four. I will tell you that on one of my pro counts, I put a ball in the water trying to do the bounce over shot. It really stinks. It's going to put me in a bad situation to try to dig myself out and qualify that account. So uh, hopefully I'll have two accounts for a weekend material. If not, then you know what happens. So here I'm going to show you the safest route to play. Max backspin. If you're a player that has a backspin boost ball, you really need that to get this shot to work. I can't believe I'm even saying that. Um, I, I now see the benefit of a backspin boost ball because if you have it, you can get enough speed to roll back down towards the pin. You just need to find the landing spot. You can see I'm basically playing just a hair to the right hand side of the flag stick. I'm playing high up on the green trying to land up high so that I can get enough speed to roll back down towards the pin. Um, I do hit a perfect ball, so you'll, you'll get to see what happens here. This is most certainly a safe way to pick up the birdie on the hole. I'm going to show you another shot that I was doing in practice round, um, which will probably be the most popular shot, 30% at max. We've had this wind angle before numerous times. One bar of side spin to the right combined with about 2.8 back. Here, I'm, I'm looking at the dark green vertical row again. I'm looking at the end of my ball guideline. 6.6 .6 mile per hour wind. You see exactly where I'm aiming. I pull 30% at max. We play at such high elevation because we want to make sure that we get far enough away from that rough. With the wind push. Now, you're going to notice here we're using a little bit of curl. That's what makes this shot stink is it's going to be curl dependent, which is never easy to duplicate, and you just have to get lucky and get it right. You see the speed is good, but I need a little bit more curl. I will tell you, um, I took about three shots, I believe, in practice mode on that shot right there. I went to play it for real. I got hit with seven and a half mile per hour wind, and I put the ball in the water, pulling it at 30% at max with a perfect ball. So. I need to rally on that account. That's the first four holes. I'll try to play some more later as my lunch break is ending. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, everybody.